We don't have to be comic book fans. We don't even have to own a comic book to understand blatant colorism when we see it. The fact that a light-skinned actor has been casted to play a dark-skinned character, even when the creator of the character intentionally made the character dark-skinned in spite of the studio's pushback, tells us everything that we have came to understand about Hollywood and its long obsession with light-skinned actors playing dark-skinned characters. We've seen it before and we are tired. Let's talk about it. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black beat. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
or whatever her name is was supposed to be dark skin or whatever like there was conversation about that the white fans were mad that she was black like like it's just like i am tired of playing this game no aaron pierre should not be playing john stewart he should not honestly have taken the role i'm sorry shouldn't even taken the role at this point considering how hollywood is moving Light-skinned folks got to do a better job. Y'all have got to start saying no. And I know that's a lot. I know that's a lot. But these white people will put y'all in a position that makes y'all not look good. And they will abandon you. Because if the movie doesn't do good or whatever, they will throw y'all to the wolves. It's okay sometimes to say no. I know it takes a lot. But if you're paying attention and you see this character is dark skin, you should say, hey, you know what? I don't know if I fit this role or whatever. Like, y'all got to do more. Y'all got to do more. Like, y'all have got to do more. Like, that is part of the issue. It's not the only issue, but I am tired of it. We are tired. And folks are trying to tell us that we are wrong to even think about it. The only reason, again, I am recording this video and documenting it, so when the conversation is a uh, quote unquote allowed to happen, we've already been talking about it. There are so many times where we have seen this song and, and, and tune and this game being played of a dark skinned character being erased in a light skinned person playing it. We, we saw the same thing with Halle Berry playing Storm in X-Men. We saw that same thing. We saw it again. They redid X-Men, the younger version. We saw it again with the casting of Storm by a light-skinned actor who had a bad accent, who couldn't even do a decent accent of what Storm would sound like if she was from wherever. Like, we have seen this time and time again. And remember, Marvel wanted the Wakandans to have a British accent. They wanted the people that are supposed to be these fictional characters that are supposed to be from Africa to have a British accent. Yes. Like y'all gonna have to push back. This white man pushed back on it and said, hey, no, like there is a quote, him talking about his experience when it came to creating this character that he painted this character dark skin and they was like, hey, like you made him darker. Are you sure that's the right tone? Like you notice how they are checking it when it comes to them being darker. Dark skinned folks are only represented when it's a joke. Even a proud family, like the darkest characters being the blue ones and they being ghetto and stuff like it's just, it's colorism everywhere. If we're not intentionally fighting it and pushing back in it. What are we doing? If we're not intentionally fighting it, what are we doing? This is not representation. This is not a feel good moment when you have dark skinned folks now coming out saying that they watched this as a child and to see now that it's being pay played by a light skinned character. It's terrible. Like as a person like myself who grew up watching this and seeing my uncle watching this Saturday and whatever, and like, oh my God, this is a dark skin, like, you know, character. Like you don't see that that much. Like he was the only black superhero that a lot of us saw for years. And for folks to say, oh, that was just an uh, animation. That animated series, Justice League, what is still relevant to this day. Like even James Gunn posted a screenshot of both of them side by side that john stewart when they're now showing pictures of john stewart when you google john stewart john stewart is dark skin in a lot of the pictures you don't see that many when he's lighter they had the same conversation about other marvel characters where that that light skin um gym body dude who was crashing out and and and, and harassing his workers and stuff when y'all was out here defending him based off a of desire and he was out here pushing back and making the character dark skin like Y'all, I'm desire is beating y'all ass, to be honest. It's beating y'all ass. Beating it. Like, wow. Like, I am tired. We are tired. And we can't even have a conversation now without folks calling us racist. How y'all calling us racist? Miss, we riding. How y'all gonna call us racist? Don't even make any sense to call us racist and say that y'all are never satisfied. We're talking about an inherent thing that happens. Black folks experience like, hey, like this black character is dark skin in the comics. When you go back and look at the original design, he was dark skin. Why can't we, why haven't we seen a dark skin version of that? Why have we not seen that? When we go back and look at all the other times a person has been casted as light skin. 
Like, I don't know what to tell y'all. Like, like, it's just... We see it so much. We've seen it in our favorite like shows. We've seen it in Martin. We've seen how Martin talked about Pam and how he described her to animals and stuff. And he just so happened to have a light skinned girlfriend. Like we've seen it time and time again. The dark skinned person in the show, like being like represented in, in a specific type of way for jokes and fodder, like and all the other stuff. We see it time and time again, even when shows that are produced by black folks. They still participate and create these images and these stereotypes. Like y'all is so in here, it's everywhere. So that's why you have a lot of folks pushing back because we've seen it. We've seen it like folks are still pissed about what happened to Storm. Yes, Halle Berry is talented. She should have never played Storm. She should have never played Storm to begin with. And even then, she revealed that they were trying to do her in. Like they made it where they made a fake script to make it seem as though she was going to have a more important role and the, the um, producer was going to throw it in the trash to get her to sign on because she wanted to be a part of it if she had a bigger role or if she had her own movie. And they did that just to pretend it was a fake script. The, the director... Came out and said something about it. He spoke on it and Halle Berry sh shared it on Twitter. Like they threw her to the side, even though they casted her, a lighter skinned black woman, casted her in a character that was dark skinned. They still threw her to the side. These folks ain't looking out for you. They don't care. So I'm not expecting Aaron Pierre to not take this. This is a role of a lifetime. This is all of that. Yes, it's, you know, all of that, like black folks don't get that many chances and all the other stuff. But they like, we can't continue to use that as an excuse because it's not a win. It's not a win if you are out here participating and being a, a tool of this. Like you are essentially being used to like do something that Hollywood has been doing for the longest. Like this is what it is. And you know what? I'm not really surprised. Like it, it doesn't surprise me. Because I see it all the time. Like I see this. This is why a lot of us talk about colorism and the, the politics of desire all the time because they show up. Like this is why in small quote unquote things where I talk about how it affects and stuff because it shows up in bigger situations like this. Like what are you? It's everywhere. And James Gunn don't feel no type of way about it. He doesn't care about it. He doesn't have to care about it because he's not affected by it. We are affected by it. Like you got all these people now, like people coming on Twitter, like sharing, you know, tweets and stuff about how they feel about this character and what it meant to them to see this black character and also the creator of this character intention to make this character dark skin. And then we see this It's disgusting. I'm disappointed, but not surprised. But I'm not going to allow these comic book fans to get in all of our heads. And like, this, let me tell you something. This ain't Star Wars. This ain't, I don't care what you say. Because baby, to be honest, I don't even be paying attention to the stupid comments, to be honest. So you can go off and cry all you want to and tweet, da da da, you're going to get blocked. A dark skinned actor should have been casted for Jon Stewart, point blank, period. If you can't find one, there is an intentional problem with that. There is plenty of dark skinned actors who you could have gotten to play this role. The fact that you were not committed to do it lets me know everything that we've been saying about Hollywood. Time and time again, Hollywood reminds us that, hey, girl, like, I actually don't have to, you know, give y'all anything to be honest like y'all accept anything and this is what this is and a lot of folks are accepting this like just how you know how big this is what does it mean is big when the character is being played by a lighter skinned person who was intentionally made to be dark skinned the creator of the character made it a point to make this character dark skinned and now we are erasing that